Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is a shrimp tostada with jalapeno guacamole. Well, we're really getting into the summer heat here in Kansas, so things that we can cook that are kind of refreshing in that moment where you take that bite, I'm all about it right now. And that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make a shrimp tostada that's piled with lettuce, it's got some cooling sour cream, salsa, guacamole, lots of great cooling flavors. But of course, we're gonna have to do a little bit of grilling. And in fact, today we're gonna be working on the griddle. We're gonna use lay griddle today, but you could use any type of griddle that you have. We're gonna get started on this by cleaning up some shrimp. So here we have some nice big gulf shrimp that have the shells on, that haven't been cleaned at all otherwise. So we're just gonna break these down and I'll show you how you can do this real quick if you're working with something that's unprocessed like this. I like to start by just helping yourself out, opening up that shell on the bottom. And we're gonna do this kind of all at once, each step all at once. You're not looking to go too deep because we are gonna to have to clean from the other side as well and we don't wanna cut all the way through the shrimp. And then what we're gonna do is slip the thumb right under the end of that shell there, start to peel that back all the way down to the tail, flip it over and remove the shell and the legs. Now if you want to, you can leave the tail on like that for presentation. If not, just pop it right out of there. All right, so last of these shells coming off here. The next thing we're gonna move on to do is deveining from the other side. So what I like to do is just lay this flat right here and then right along this crest, there's a vein that often has poop in it. <laughs> as disgusting as that sounds, it's even more disgusting once you get into it. So what we're gonna do is grab that vein Pull it right out, grab your pooper scooper, get that out of there as well. And of course we want to rinse this off, so go ahead and just throw that in a cup to the side. So again we're going to lay that flat, come right across the top where that vein is with our knife, just a shallow cut, pop that open and pull the vein out. We're actually pulling the intestines out here. All right, so we've rinsed all these off really well. All of that yucky stuff is gone. We're gonna transfer these over to our brine bucket. So one really easy way to get a lot of flavor into your shrimp is to use a brine or a marinade. But shrimp take really well to marinate because they're so small that, that it's able to penetrate really quickly. So the marinade that we're using today is the Sweetwater Spice Lime Jalapeno, which has a pineapple juice base, but tons of lime flavor, as well as just a little bit of jalapeno heat. Uh, not a lot of jalapeno going on there. It's just enough to really give it a slight kick. So we're gonna put the concentration in first and then a bit of water to cover. So while the shrimp is soaking, we're gonna put together our jalapeno guacamole. So I wanna show you guys a really cool little trick for when you're firing off jalapenos really quick. Now this is totally optional, but if you wanna add a little bit of that smokiness and a little bit of char to whatever it is you're cooking, you fire off one of these jalapenos and you can do it really quick with a torch to where you can just actually wipe the skin off and you just lightly softened the flesh of that jalapeno and added a subtle smokiness. But you want to totally blacken the surface here. And the slower you go, the softer the flesh of that pepper is going to be in the end. If you want it firm, they just get really hot really fast, right? But we take it back just a little bit to kind of soften that flesh. And again, this is a totally optional step. You could totally just throw in your jalapeno raw. You don't have to torch it off first. But it's a pretty cool little trick. And unlike when you do this like on a grill or under a broiler or something uh, where you'd want to kind of steam the skin off, we've just torched it. So that skin, it's just going to wipe right off with a damp paper towel. So no skin left. So you've just got kind of that residual char and a slightly softened pepper. So we'll just go ahead and take this thing apart now. I'm going to get the pith and the seeds out of there. Put 
And then we'll just go ahead and mince this jalapeno down pretty fine. And then we're gonna throw these into a zip top bag. The bag makes the process of putting together this guacamole really clean and really easy. So now we move on to avocados. I'm gonna get those pits right out of there. Just kind of roughly dice up the flesh here. Looking for something fairly soft. You don't want a really firm avocado somewhere in the middle so that you have a little bit of texture in your guacamole. It's not just pure mush, but also you don't want to just have chunks of hard avocado. So carefully just slicing down to the skin. Really do be careful because if you go through the skin with a sharp knife like this shoon, it'll go right into your hand. So we're going to do three of these small avocados, add those to the bag. Next we're going to mince up a bit of cilantro, I'm going to say a tablespoon of cilantro per avocado, so we'll go for about three tablespoons here. Add it to the bag. Also want to do about a tablespoon of lime juice, or about a teaspoon per avocado. Some nice tang in there. And then I really like to round out that tanginess with some salsa. So we're going to be using one of my favorite salsas. This is a roasted green chili salsa from Holmes Made. We'll hit that with a little bit of smoked salt, the hickory smoked salt. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to go at it. So work that air out of there so you don't pop the bag. Grab a nice blunt object and just start beating on it. If you use a meat mallet like this, you could use a rolling pin. You know, you could use your kid's Nintendo Switch that they won't put down. Whatever you have handy. And then just judging by appearance, we see that we still have some chunks of avocado that are, that's what we want, right? We want a little bit of texture. I mean, that's what I want. You should make it however you want. But we have a nice, thick avocado guacamole consistency now. I like that. A little bit chunky. That's how I want it. You can keep going at it if you like it a little bit smoother. Let's have a taste. Ooh, very tangy, it's really nice. You want a little less tang with a little bit less lime juice, but that's right where I want it. So it's been about 30 minutes. These shrimp have been sitting in the sweet water. As you can see right on the surface, right, it's just starting to turn just slightly opaque, and that's where we want it. We don't want it getting cooked, but it's been in there just long enough to affect the flavor. All right, so to make everything easier on the griddle, I'm gonna skewer these. This will make flipping them all at once a lot easier, a lot quicker. As you can see, I'm leaving the tail on. Again, totally optional. Uh, arguments for taking it off would be that you're not gonna eat the tail, right? So you might as well go ahead and take it off. Um, I like the presentation with the tail on. I also like that it gives you kind of a little handle if you're gonna pinch one right off the top. So I don't feel strongly about it either way. And I've done this dish both ways. So that's up to you. So we'll give a little bit of space in between each one so we can get these browned a little bit on the outside. Depending on the size of your shrimp, probably six to eight per skewer. And make sure if you're using a skewer that's round like this that it is double pronged or that you use two skewers so that when you go to flip this, everything flips, right? It doesn't just roll around because it will just roll around if you only have one. That's what I really like about these Firewire double skewers. Keeps everything in place really nice. So now we're gonna hit our shrimp with a little bit of seasoning. We're using the Oak Ridge Barbecue Smoky Chili Lime for obvious reasons. Kinda goes with the flavor profile, right? So main thing going on here is you've got salt 
and then you've got smoked chilies to add the smokiness. And then there's some other really cool stuff in it, like that crystallized lime juice. So we'll just kind of make sure that that's tacked on there before we flip these over and get the other side. So we're cooking today on La Griddle, which is a two burner uh, propane fired flat top griddle. I've got two zones that I can work with, which is great because I can adjust the heat how I want it. Now, if you're doing this on just a single grill with a single griddle, you can totally pull all of it off. You're just going to stagger your timelines a little bit. So you give your corn tortillas a little bit longer to cook or a little bit shorter period if you're cooking at high heat. So we're just going to get oil all across the surface here. We'll start by going down with our shrimp. We're looking to get a little bit of browning on the surface and to get those cooked through. And we're gonna go on this hotter side of the grill. There we go. And now working quickly, we're gonna get our tortillas down as well. So we've got some small flour corn tortillas to get them in that fat so they get a nice fry on them. And we're gonna do a little multitasking here. So as soon as we get these down, we're gonna be working quick. We're gonna go back to the table, prep up the rest of our condiments and our toppings. So we've got a little bit of romaine lettuce here. That's gonna go on top of our tostadas. I wanna get down, just save those leafy parts for salads because I wanna get down into this crunchier part. Slice this nice and thin. Have that ready to go. We're gonna mix up a little bit of salsa crema. So using that same salsa that went into the guac, we're gonna go about equal parts salsa and sour cream. Really simple. And then here we have our guacamole in the bag still. It's been hanging out in the fridge. Put that right here into our bowl. And now we've got our toppings ready. Let's take a peek at our shrimp now. Oh great, we're getting a little bit of crust on those. That's awesome, that's what we're going for. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a little bit of crispiness on the outside is all we're looking for. I might get just a little bit more oil down there for those to fry in. And check out those corn tortillas. Crisping those up. Gonna do a little rotating. Beautiful. So if you flip this shrimp on its side and you kind of look right here in the dead center, you can see it's not quite opaque yet because it's not quite cooked all the way through. So if we're talking about temperatures, we're looking at something like 135 to 140 on the internal, but I'm not gonna poke every single one of those shrimp. This is something you can really do by feel and by sight. So we've got some nice color and a little bit of crisp on our tortillas, but they're still slightly tender, which is exactly what we're going for. We're gonna pull these guys off the griddle, and set them aside. Now these guys are looking good. These are cooked all the way through. Super aromatic right now. I'm smelling that marinade, that lime jalapeno. It smells great. All right, so we're gonna build these tostadas now, starting with some lettuce down on the bottom. What a great little appetizer for the summertime, right? Everyone gets their own. I'm gonna hit that lettuce with some guacamole. gonna be shy about that. So that guacamole creates a great little cradle for us to set our shrimp on. Just right there like that. Tails up. Give it some vertical, really pretty presentation. And then we're gonna come across the top here with our salsa crema. And this kind of cools everything down, right? That's not a spicy salsa at all. 
We may have just a little bit of kick in the shrimp and a little bit in the guacamole. It's not a lot, but for sure our crema helps to cool things down a little bit. It's all about balance when you're creating these dishes. And we'll top that off with a little bit of Katija cheese. It's just one of my favorite cheeses. Salty, crumbly, it's got great texture to it. And it's just a little bit funky. And if we're going all in, why not hit it with some microgreens there at the end for presentation's sake. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And there's our little handle we were talking about. If you want to get right in there and take a bite, a little bit of guacamole on there. Perfect texture. Mm. Really juicy. Got the salt level just right. It's tangy and it's got just the right burn on the tongue. And then if you're looking to eat it all together, you know you can just pop that tail right off, tear a piece of that tortilla, you get a little bit of everything. Mmm, guacamole, love it. Great crunch, it's all come together just right. That's gonna do it for shrimp tostada with jalapeno guacamole. Pretty nice little summer snack there. And for what it's worth, totally gluten-free for your homies with celiac. Shout out to you guys. Do us a solid, head over to atbbq.com. Check out the products used in today's video. Every purchase you make over there helps us continue to make these videos. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.